Hey you guys, Misty here today and I am doing a book haul from Goodwill and a bookstore in Franklin called Books A Million. So let's get started. Um, I found these yesterday and I write down the date on the video so we can keep up with when I found these. Um, I found this one right here at Goodwill in Franklin and it's uh, my first Mandela's Dover coloring book by Anna P-O-M-A-S-K-A. I'm not going to try to say that name. P-O-M-A-S-K-A. And it's just got this one coloring on the first page here. But these books right here, the Dover ones, was just 50 cents. All the books at uh, Goodwill I found was 50 cents. So here we've got the three hearts here. I'll just do a flip through and show you guys the pages. But out of all the ones I've found at Goodwill, I like these the best, I do believe. And I was thinking about, you know, doing a video pretty soon showing, um, showing you guys those pins I, I showed, the, the metallic ones, the metallic pins that the Dollar General got. I was going to do a video probably out of one of these, this book here coloring something another. There's a cross and diamond. Paper's really good on here. It's double sided, but it's good paper. Mm, gives the metall metallic markers. I might end up messing up the back page, but that's okay. We'll just give it a shot and try out them markers. I like the hands picture. Heart, Native American design. Lizards and moon and sun pictures pretty too. This is actually my first Dover books I have. First ones. Alright, Sun and Star in the Star book. Triangles and Unicorns. So here we have the end right here. So this is the first one I got. I also got my first Mandela's Nature that's by her, Anna. And there's the last name. I'm afraid I'll butcher that last name if I try to say it. So I'm not going to try. Well, actually, I like this one pretty good. Now, this one has little questions at the bottom. How many seashells can you count? How many starfish? And this is, you know, mostly for kids. But, for adults, it would be fun to color also. So, it could go either way. It's just got little questions. How many flowers do you see? How many caterpillars are in the mandala? How many flowers? Definitely be good for kids learning, you know. How many beetles can you count? How many ladybugs are in the mandala? How many spots are on each ladybug? How many frogs do you see? How many moths on this one? How many frogs can you count? How many dragonflies? I hope you don't, guys don't mind me reading what's at the bottom here. How many dragonflies are in the mandala? How many flowers? How many beetles do you see on this one? And it's got the answer here at the bottom. How many butterflies can you count on this one? This is how many seahorses are in the Mandela. Definitely be fun for kids also. How many spiders do you see? How many flies? And this one's how many snakes can you count? 
how many iguanas are in the mandala, how many flowers. And then this one's how many mushrooms do you see? How many spots are on each mushroom? And how many snakes can you count? How many lizards are in the mandala? How many beetles? How many slugs? How many snails? How many turtles do you see? How many snails? And this one's how many bats can you count? How many stars? How many leaves are in the mandala? Or mandala? I usually just say mandala. How many dragonflies? How many leaves do you see? How many flowers? This one's pretty right here, guys. A little snowflake. How many sprigs of holly can you count? How many berries does each sprig of holly have? And this is how many crabs are in the mandala. How many shells? But definitely good for 50 cents. How many fish do you see? How many stalks of coral do you see in this one? How many snails can you count on this page? How many fish are in the mandala? How, how many how many bunches of seaweed and then this one is how many carnal do you see how many birds can you count how many flowers and here on this one is how many birds are in the mandala how many flowers how many leaves and last but not least is super challenge how many petals can you count on this one? Ask a grown-up if you need help on that on that last one there. So that's a really good book right there. The next one I got was my first Mandela's Animals by Anna. I got this one right here. Okay. I will read what's underneath it. <laughs> That was a spam. Sorry about that, guys. That was a spam number calling me. Um, can you count how many cats are in the mandala? How many hearts do you see? Yeah, there are hearts hidden in the yarn. How many elephants can you count? How many stars? And this one is how many cows can you count? How many moons and stars? How many fish are in the mandala? How many circles? Can you count how many dogs are in the mandala? How many triangles do you see? Hopefully it's okay for me to read what's on the page also. How many horses can you count in this picture? How many rectangles? And on this one is how many ducks do you see? How many ovals? On this cute picture, how many panda bears are in the mandala? How many diamonds? How many bears can you count? How many squares on this one? How many turtles do you see? How many hexacons? There are hexacons hidden on the turtles' backs. Alright, can you count how many seals are in the mandala? How many circles do you see? How many pigs can you count? How many ovals? So, I mean, this could be hard right through here for a kid, but they'll learn, you know, as they go. How many lines do you see? How many diamonds? How many monkeys do you see in this mandala? How many octagons? How many frogs can you count? How many ovals? Uh, this one's how many tigers are in the mandala? How many triangles? How many goats do you see? How many rectangles? How many rabbits can you count? How many triangles? Can you count how many lizards are in the mandala? How many hearts do you see? This is a cute book, though. All these are good books. How many squirrels can you count? How many moons on this one? 
This is how many miles. Do you see how many circles? How many hummingbirds are in the mandala? How many triangles? And this one right here is how many hippopotamuses? Can you count? How many rectangles? These books are in really good shape. This is how many giraffes do you see? How many hexacons? And this is, can you count how many sheep are in the mandala? How many squares do you see? How many beavers can you count? How many squares? How many camels do you see? How many stars? How many manatees? Manatees are in the mandala. How many circles on that one? How many kangaroos do you see? How many diamonds? The last one is, how many penguins can you count? How many octagons? So there's that one. And next I found was a uh, favorite book to color by, um, well, actually guys, I'm not sure. Oh, okay. Line art by Lisa Wallace. I have heard of Lisa Wallace before. All right. Adapted from the story and art by Patrix. Beatrix Potter, line art by Lisa Wallace. This is a tale of Peter Rabbit based on the story and art by the Pe Beatrix Potter book. Got this for 50 cents. I try to find it on eBay and can't find it, but it's got a story. It reads underneath there. A little story with pictures to color. Really good shape. This book is in excellent condition, you know. I won't read the story on this one. Just look at the pictures. Oh, this one's cute with the scarecrow. They're part of a scarecrow here. I uh, need a little scarecrow head there, don't we? There's the end. I just wonder what year these come out. I didn't see the year. All right, this one right here is a tale of Benjamin Bunny, a Beatrix Potter, based on the story. Same thing, line art by Lisa Wallace. Like cute pictures in it of rabbits to color with some crayons. Let's see here.
This book ain't been turned much. It's in really good shape. You can tell the pages are really, you know, like brand new. If any of you guys know about what year this came out, let me know. I can't find it, though. Looked on the internet, too, and couldn't find anything. There's the end on this one. Cuteness. And I got a Christmas book here. Christmas fun. Easy tear out Christmas fun. Jumbo corn activity book. And this one is by Paradise, Paradise Press. It says uh, 2003. It's a pretty good size book for 50 cents. We'll just do a flip of this big book here. Use some crayons for sure. But you know, I love finding books like this. It's so fun to find pit, uh, books for Christmas. These activity books. Well, this would be a fun book to color in also. Didn't have any colorings in it, I don't think. Well, somebody started on that picture there, finished the picture, tried to finish it and put a draw a little nose on there. A little fire truck. Cute little clown. That is cute color with crayons. There's a color by number. It's simple. You know, I'll probably be coloring this one with my crayons. Hopefully. I'm not making no promises, but hopefully. Okay, I told you wrong, guys. Somebody did color in this one. A little bit. Let's just skip one. Yep. Somebody's tore a page out of there too. But that's alright. I'll just show you anyway. We'll flip along here. There's a cute little talking stocking. It's got little lips there and a hat. Another color, uh, Dr. Dot book, uh, Dr. Dot page. we have here we have little cuteness that's what we have and a cute train lots of pictures lots of pictures and mob No yellow pages involved either. You know, I showed you guys that Halloween book I had. It actually had yellow pages on it. I don't know what happened to it. This is a dot to dot here. Nice and simple. 
Let's see here. We have a little wreath. Oh, a cute little frog holding a candy cane. A lot of pages in here. Color page there. Goodwill finds. For sure. And there's the end of that one. Right there. This book's been eight dollars. Got it for fifty cents. But a good size book. And last but not least, I got the uh Beverly Lewis Amish coloring book. This is the one I found at uh Books a Million yesterday. I looked on Amazon and it was twenty five dollars. So I went ahead and got it and it was on sale. It being uh thirteen dollars. I got it for about seven dollars. No, it was actually about six dollars I got it for. But mostly got it for the patterns. I do like the pictures though. It's got um King James uh, verses in it. She looketh, she looketh well to the, the ways of her household, and eateth not the bread of idleness. And there's the Proverbs verse. 31.27. Ooh, it's got a nice little wood stove there. And this is, you guys can probably see the verse. I'll just do a flip. Do like this. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. And they shall walk and not faint. Isaiah 40, 31. And this is a log cabin pattern right here. Log cabin. I was thinking about doing the pattern some browns because the name of it's log cabin. Maybe. Peace I leave with you, my peace I give unto you, nor as the world giveth, give unto you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. John 14, 27. 
I thought I'd read some of them that were longer. Diamond in the Square, Sunshine and Shadows, Blessed are the weak, blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Matthew 5 5. I like this one. Nine patch and heart on this one. There they are around the table. Little Amish people. Broken star. You could probably pause this video also and read the proverb, read the Bible verses. This one's Proverbs. Lady hanging clothes on the line. Romans on that one. I started coloring a little bit in here yesterday. My gel pen. I do like this one also. This is the double nine patch pattern. Whoops. Let's see here. There's some nice pies on the table, desserts and cookies. This is the Lone Star. Double wedding ring right there. All right, guys, that's it. That's my book haul. So thank you all for watching, and have a good day. I love you all. We'll talk again. Bye-bye.